Okay, here's the 2020 Alpha on the dyno out of break in. Right now, we're sitting at six and a half hours. And it's a little warm in the dyno room today, so, uh, you know, power might change a little bit. But this is uh, definitely your first window into see how much power this engine is capable of making. Uh, the dyno does a pretty good job at correcting for different pressures and temperatures and humidity uh, but the numbers may vary a little bit uh, so this is uh, where we're at today and on the graph here we have a 2019 so we'll see how it compares to that run it'll make a little bit more torque but we'll see what's the total power so cold pipe run doesn't look too bad now let's see what uh, so first run was 166.7 at 7950 and we'll see where it goes from here That one right there is 166.6 at 7950. Now the pipe's getting a little hotter. Now it's uh, 163.7 at 8,000. So it's definitely came down a little bit from the first couple runs, but uh, still not, still not bad. Uh, last year's was about 163, so. That one there, 165.3. Uh, not looking too bad.
All right, so let's look at all these runs. Try to make some sense out of it for you. Like I said, it's a it's a little warm in the dining room right now, so I mean it'll probably pull more RPM once once you get a little denser air in the pipe. Uh, but that this is uh, the runs from today, and this is uh, the 2019. So is it comparable? Yeah, it's pretty comparable. Uh, I mean it's right about that same horsepower. It's a, a little lower RPM, but you know that might come up as as pipe pressure increases from from thicker air. So uh, that's that's our initial testing with the 2020 Alpha. Uh, once once our weather cools down here a little bit, I'll get some uh, more accurate uh, tests. But I know everybody's chomping at the bit to see what it makes, and and uh, it definitely didn't lose power. I uh, might even be making a little bit more. So that's where we're at. Over and out. Make sure you check out all our cool products at bikemanperformance.com.